imagined, if you asked me, you know, before this all started, if I ever thought it would have got to this point. No way, you know. I had a lot of eyes on me like I had eyes on me back in the day. It was uh, a season that I needed to keep the stoke going, and this year was like more for myself. Being, you know, almost 34 years old right now, I'm getting dropped by sponsors. And that's what it comes down to. It's just like I'm getting older, that's what it is. But I'm getting better. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I ain't going anywhere. And here in Chucky, California. Living out of the Sprinter van and uh, living out my dream is what it is. Like I've always, I've been thinking about this for a long time. Will you think of me and wonder if I'm a lot of alone time, a lot of reflection time. You need that in life and loving life. California in general has been kind of in a drought for a while. And uh, this winter definitely ended that for sure. Just kind of reminded me of the old days, like growing up skiing here with CR and, and just hitting some of the old classic spots and you can't really beat it. The dark cloud that had followed Tanner for two months had magically lifted. Louder! Well, clap your hands for what he's doing.
my broken legs, blown out ACLs, that was a big curveball in life. Then getting dropped by Red Bull, getting dropped by Rockstar, curveball. CR dying is a serious curveball. Curveball too is just dealing with, you know, my obsession to drink alcohol. I haven't had a drink for a while now. And this time I'm serious about not drinking. Just cause again, I mean, it showed through my skiing. This year it was like without drinking and partying, man. I mean, that shit is fun, but at some point it'll catch up to you. And if you have a brain like mine, it goes a million miles an hour. Substance is probably not the best thing to start fucking putting into your body. I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means, and I've got a whole lot of shit fucked up still, but like I'm, I'm actually like aware now, and I'm trying to pull it all together. Clearer days are on the horizon, and they're here right now. folks, depending on what you're doing for a living, a calcaneus fracture can be a career-ending injury. Is this it, friend? Is he done? When I crashed on Chad's and broke both my ankles and heels, I was like, I'm definitely not hitting that jump ever again. And, you know, 12 years passed, and I don't know what hit me. You know, I always put so much pressure on myself and I always think like I have to do all these things and doing them for the wrong reasons pretty much, doing them for people. This year was like more for myself and skiing for myself and this type of shit, it's gnarly, you know? The older you get to, it's fucking heavy. And go through the pain, you gotta go the weight, the, the anxiety, the whatever. You gotta have all that shit and to have that all culminate to go back and you actually, you know, you do it, you go through with it and achieve it. You know, that feeling afterwards, that's, you know. start slowing down or start figuring something else out in life but like, God has a funny way of working you know and like my, my skiing just got like I feel confident again I think the reason why I'm still here and why I'm still skiing you know yeah it's like a lot of people in my generation have retired you know some even kids in the new generation are retiring right now and it's just like I'm a skier man it's just like I've always said without all this shit, I'd still be up on the mountain every day. Like, that's what makes me happy. Like, that's why I get up in the morning. That's why I'm not insane. Well, that's why I'm not fully insane.